in my previous tutorials i have discussed what is linked list what is the difference between array and linked list what is node in a linked list and how we can insert a node at the beginning and end of a linked list so i have mentioned all the video tutorials all my previous video tutorial in the description box so in this uh, tutorial we will see another example in which uh, we find the length of a linked list using iterative and recursive approach so suppose i have a linked list and it has four nodes so let's draw a linked list so i have a linked list uh, which has four node and the values are these 15 9 8 and 5 so uh, let's first draw the four linked list and nine then the second node points to third node and the third node points to fourth node and after that no node is left so it points to null so let's suppose the address of first node is 100 the address of second node is 50 the address of third node is let's say 1200 the address of fourth node is let's say 400 so the the address of first node is pointed by a special pointer known as head so head has the address of first node now the first node points to the address of second node which is 50 the second node points to the address of third node which is 1200 and the third node points to the address of fourth node which is 400 and after that there is no node left so the last node points to null so uh, we have a linked list and we know the length of uh, that linked list is 4 so it has 4 nodes so so how we can uh, find the length of a linked list so to find the link, uh, length of a linked list we need to traverse a linked list and we maintain a variable count which we increment uh, the value of count variable is incremented in each step so let's see the example using iterative and recursive approach so so uh, this is uh, the example of iterative approach in which i have declared one variable count which is initialized with zero and the reference of head pointer is assigned to temp uh, which is of node type and i am traversing while temp is not null so what i am doing is i'll move to i'll move to next node and also incremented the value of count so let's see let's understand it through example so so uh uh, this is a node and it has value 15 now it it points to next node which has value 9 and it points to next node which has value 8 and it points to next node which has value 5 and after that no node is left so it points to null so and head points to the first node so so i have created one variable temp which is of node type and i'll explain what is node type so temp and in which i have assigned the reference of head so now i am traversing a linked list so head i mean now the temp is point to the first node of a linked list so which is not null so i'll move to next node so this step does this thing so i move to next node and incremented the value of count so now the value of count is one so temp is again not null so it a uh, second node points to third so it's not null so now at this step it start pointing to this node and the value of count incremented and it's it get 2 
so after that tamp is still not null it points to next node so the next node is this one and the value of count is 3 so it's still not null and now the temp is pointed after that pointed to next node which is not uh, there is no node left so it points to null and now the count is incremented to 4 and after that so this condition is false as temp now points to null so we get the count which is 4 now uh, let's see uh, what is node here and how we have created a link list so let's so uh, this is a node class it has true attribute data and a pointer to the next node so the next attribute is also a node type as it points to next node which is also which has also two attribute data and a pointer so if you are facing any difficulty let me explain so this is node and it has two attribute so one is data so this is data and the second attribute is uh, next which contains the address of next node so it points another node which is also ha which has also uh, I mean a node has two attribute data and pointer to next node so that's why it is of node type so now let's move to here so in this class I have declared one attribute which is head uh, it is of node type and when we create an object of this class so in constructor I have initialized head to null so initially it won't point to any node and in this insert method I have inserted a new node at the head of a linked list now this is uh, uh, the in this method we are finding the length of a linked list using iterative approach now let's see uh, the recursive approach and in which what I have done is I have I have checked if node is equal to equal to null then it returns zero otherwise we execute this statement which is one plus print length using recursion so uh, let's see how this method is working so this is our link list and so uh, when this method is called node is not equal to null so it goes to this statement and when we uh, call when uh, so in recursion a function will call itself until the base condition or terminating condition is not reached so and in each method call we uh, so method call is pushed in a stack and when we reach a terminating condition then all the method call is popped one by one so uh, see so we uh, reach uh, so this statement is executed and, and in this we have one plus print length using recursion and here we pass the address of second node then after that in next step we pass the address of third node then fourth node and after that there is no node left so we pass the address null so in case of null what we do is we return zero so this method is popped and it return so all these method calls are waiting uh, to get value from the uh, from uh, from their next method call so it will return zero and uh, so one plus zero is one is returned from here so one is returned from here now it goes to this so this method uh, in this method we get the value one from the previous method and one also here so now we get 2, 2 is return here and here 1 is already present now from this in this method call we return 3 and 1 is already present here so we get the answer 4 so how this recursive method works now uh, let's see the main method 
so in main method i have created the object of linked list length and i have inserted these four nodes and i have first printed the linked list and then i'll print it the length obtained through uh, iterative method and then uh, the length obtained through recursive method call so let's run this code So see, this is my linked list and the length of linked list is 4 and 4 is printed by both iterative and recursive approach. So this is how we can uh, find the length of a, a length of a node present in a linked list. So the number of nodes present in a linked list. So this is the code and I'll mention the code link in the description box. So if you have any doubt, please ask me uh, through the comment section and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it.